The Fire Hunter, Hikari no U, is a novel series adaptation that has gained much attention due to Mamoru Oshii's involvement. Oshii, who has been absent from the anime scene except for the comedy Vlad Love, has returned to handle the script and series composition for this project. Although Oshii is not responsible for directing and storyboarding, his imprint may not be easily detected if the show is watched without knowledge of his involvement. It is difficult to predict the direction of No as it is not shallow, formulaic, or trope-based. This story takes a single aspect of our world, fire, and creates a new world around it, blending steampunk sci-fi, dark fantasy, and Japanese folklore in organic ways. Technology and myths shape each other in this archaeo-futuristic setting. The combination of steampunk elements with relative simplicity and emphasis on trains brings to mind the anime Kabaneri. The decline of humanity's capabilities and rejection of the Promethean spirit, as symbolized by fire, is reminiscent of Attack on Titan. The world building in this show has potential for intrigue, but the various story threads have not been fully developed yet. The narration is a weak point, as it adds little beyond excessive exposition that the characters already know. It is better to leave the audience somewhat confused and convey information through character dialogue or events. The narration is likely taken from the book, but it is not effective and detracts from immersion. The character dynamics are currently unappealing, and the events such as a bride being taken by a village or character deaths are not engaging. Hiromasa Ogura's art direction brings to life the rural villages, ominous forests, and industrial cityscapes, and the composition and storyboarding are generally good, but specific shots are poorly executed and lack harmony, possibly due to a rushed production schedule. The director, Junji Nishimura, is a seasoned industry veteran and brings more cinematic appeal to the series than the typical seasonal offerings, but there are also questionable or confusing choices. The series has inconsistent production values. The animation might be considered bad by some anime fans due to its rough and unrefined nature. However, this raw energy gives the series a unique energy. The animation can also be slow and does not utilize its off-kilter style as smoothly as other works, such as Birdie the Mighty, Decode and Mind Game. The use of split-screen portraits and freeze frames is questionable and often detracts from the drama. The split-screen portraits add nothing to the aesthetic or the scene, while the freeze frames are awkwardly placed and do not add to the drama. The freeze frames often lead to unintentional laughter, and the use of them sullies the artful brutality of the opening fight sequence. The inconsistent animation is further exacerbated by the use of CGI, which is often used in tracking shots to establish scene transitions at the mansion in the city. The contrast between the regular visuals and the freeze frames is too great, and the staff could have made better decisions to conceal this aspect. The main animator behind the most thrilling moments in the series is Yasunori Miyazawa. This series is a must-watch for fans of his work, as he was responsible for the majority of the dynamic character animations and fight scenes with the fiends up until episode 4, excluding the opening. Another animator appears to have worked on the effects-based fire animation scenes where characters are combusting. There are also instances of unintentional humor in the series. While there are moments of captivating animation, they are also flawed. Episode 2 features a fight scene with two dogs flipping around like flying squirrels on meth and drop kicking their opponent in a manner that resembles an early 2000s computer game. The split-screen portraits and manipulation of characters are also questionable, making it hard not to laugh at this bizarre sight. Thanks for watching this video. If you're a fan of anime, you'll definitely want to check out our channel for more great content. From reviews to discussions, we've got everything you need to feed your anime addiction. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our latest updates. And don't forget to leave a comment below, we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep it anime.